Hi, I'm Mella Lee. Um, I'm a film composer and a voice actress here in Los Angeles, and I'm honored to be a part of this inaugural project. Some of my earliest music memories, um, my grandmother used to take care of me when I was a little girl, and I'd stay home a lot. Um, I had asthma, and I would stay home from school, and one of the things that used to calm me down, I would sit underneath the piano when she played, and um, I think that stayed with me my whole life, that music has this lullaby effect for me. And it brings a great calm to me and a joy. And strange to ask when the moment was that I would have given my life to music, but I, I can remember my father died when I was a little girl and I had never visited his graveside. And I remember being there and and just weeping. It was such a, a moment for me, like an infusion of how I'm going to make my life matter. Um, he died when he was 30, and, and I think I all of a sudden realized, like, this is, this is the time I have, and I have to do something that ignites my heart. And I remember taking the stories they told me about my father and writing music, and, and it felt really important. And I'm so humbled that the project that became Magnolia Memoir has become my my living, my life, and how much it touches other people. Like you can't you can't walk away from that kind of connection that's to your bones. Um, how would I describe my musical style? Um, I've been described as Billy Holiday meets Tom Waits with a dash of the Clash. Um, I think there's a a classicness about it, but also. A, an edge, a wine stain. It's it's a 4 a.m. voice, not 4 in the afternoon. Um, Magnolia Memoir has flavors of jazz and and rock and blues. Um, I hope I would be remembered as, as somebody whose music cut to the bone and really reached inside and made a connection with other people. That's how I would hope to describe it. And the challenge with this project is it's you with another artist and there's a, a deep desire to honor their work and where they came from and, and, and be a soundtrack to their work. As a composer, it's something that, that I, I seek to do with the films or the, or the, or the um, short films that we score. And I had to treat um, his work like a film, like a story. And there's a tremendous sense of responsibility when you are scoring someone's heart. Patrick's work, it felt somber and alone in the first few photographs and then it came to a consistency of, of visuals and we've had a few friends pass away recently and when I really sat with the photographs it reminded me of the process of grieving. I think my favorite photos are most definitely where the piece lands. Uh, when you when you see that beautiful yellow wall um, with paint falling off, but it's just still standing. That beauty and decay. Um, it's it's a theme that's in our, our new project, Pale Fire, with Magnolia Memoir, and I'm fascinated by the beauty in things that have been left behind or destroyed and, and then you go to that photograph of the, the fine wines and um, it's as if it's a treasure found. And again going back to that grieving process, there are memories years later that somehow resurface and it's it's like a gift from this person that's passed away. And, and those last two pictures in the series really, really touch me. We are knee deep uh, finishing the Pale Fire project right now. and. By the time you're watching this, hopefully it's out in the universe. Um, it's been a beautiful process of putting together our third album. It's called Pale Fire because it represents the, the pale fire passion required to ignite a revolution of your heart, of a mind, or a people. And it also has ignited a fire in, in the band where we want to use our music to, to help other causes. Um, what more can we do? with our music and, and we're finding extraordinary opportunities like the, the proceeds books um, to use our art to help other people, to 
have their own revolution uh, of education, of, of government, of music, of joy. Um, we're really excited to be a part of our community in that way.